Brett from Cardiff, California. I just got finished with the uh, three-stop surf trip with Nicaragua, um, Las Flores, and La Libertad. Um, I think the things to point out about that trip, um, awesome surf. Nicaragua's got great lefts. Um, great surf spot right in front of the camp uh, called Chicken Bowls. Another place called Pipes just down the beach. A couple good point breaks in the area and a really heavier slab-like wave called La Barra, which is really great. Um, food there is excellent as well. Um, and the accommodations are really nice, really comfortable house, great place to stay for a surf trip. Um, from there we uh, drove up to uh, Las Flores. And um, so the, along the way you do two border crossings. You cross from uh, Nicaragua into Honduras and then Honduras into El Salvador. It was a good experience, interesting. Um, uh, easier than I expected, not a big deal. Uh, a couple bucks to cross each border. Uh, so anyway, you know, good, good long road trip but, um, for the day, but um, we surfed in the morning. Um, can probably get a surf in in the evening as well on that trip if you time it right. Um, and we surfed Las Flores for a couple days. Actually, I should say we surfed Punta Mango. And uh, a couple days of boat trips to Punta Mango. Definitely one of the best rights you'll surf anywhere um, when it's on. Uh, we got it on. Um, out of the two days, one day was good, one day was great. And, uh, and then uh, been up to La Libertad. Um, both hotels, really great, uh, in Flores and La Libertad. Uh, La Libertad, uh, we're sitting up in the uh, bar and restaurant right now and um, overlooking uh, Punta Roca and uh, La Paz, a uh, great place, some place that you'll definitely remember and uh, some great waves in La Libertad as well. Um, if you haven't been to the area of La Libertad, quite a few waves around here. Uh, Punta Roca, La Paz, Sunzal, K-59, El Concal, um, La Mocana, tons of, tons of epic waves that you'll remember for a long time. So, great trip, highly recommended.